Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world in calls God. And Yahweh Shah is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world in calls Jesus Christ. Those are the two true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Those are the only names that you can receive salvation through. And those names are only meant to be called on by the children of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. A double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit of Pavi Habashim Yahweh and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. Hey man, I have a uh a slack here. Shalom. Hey, I have a video right here from Full Spectrum Survival Man. It just says what? Stock up on food now. The dollar is becoming worthless. Explosive inflation, panic buying sets in. So we're gonna play a little bit of this video. Then I'm, I'm gonna grab a, a scripture. And we're gonna let it run until I need to stop it again. Here it goes. America is about to enter a new era of pain and suffering. Producer prices in the United. You hear that? <laughs> Here, play it one more time. America is about to enter a new era of pain and suffering. You hear that? That's exactly what's about to happen. You see? And how do we know this? How do how, how, how do the Israelites beginning with the men of the Lord know this? Because the Most High has revealed it unto us, man. And he's, to, he's told us that this is how America was going out. You see? America is crumbling right around you people. But you people are still in la-la land, in dream world, still thinking this place is going to uh, get back to normal. No, man. This place is on the way up out of here. You see? And the prophets, through the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, we have told you that these things were coming. And now, now here it is. And it's not going to stop, man. It is not going to stop. Matter of fact, let's get this Amos 3 and 7 real quick, then we'll come at that Jeremiah 51. Amos 3 and 7 says what? Surely Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. These things have been revealed unto us through the Holy Spirit, and we and we went to the highways and byways and let you people know what it was. You didn't believe us. You scoffed. You mocked. You talked shit. You called us crazy. You called us bums. You called us conspiracy theories. Now look at you. Everything that we have been saying through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is setting in, man. Just like we told you it would. Way before it even came to pass, man. Why is that? Because we are the prophets of the Lord. We are the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah coming on behalf of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son to let you know what's about to happen on this planet Earth. And a major event that's going to be recorded in history forevermore is what? The great downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great America, man. You see? This is what's happening. Let's go. Jeremiah 51 and 1, it says what? Thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me at destroying wind. Because when it's all said and done, that destroying wind is going to come and sweep across the land of America, man. And that destroying wind is coming in the what? It's coming in the form of 200 million thermonuclear missiles, man. That's going to rain from the heavens to wipe everything out in this place. From the north to the south, from the east to the west, man. Everything in between is going to be eradicated and wiped away by way of thermonuclear fire, man. Verse 2 says what? And I will send, un and I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. And what is that talking about? The chariots. You see? So not only are you going to, are you going to have nuclear warheads raining from the skies, you're going to have the chariots of the Lord, the so-called UFOs, shooting laser beams upon this place, man. Concentrated fire to intensify the heat. Because when, when the Most High says that this land is going to be completely desolate, man. You see? A barren land in the wilderness, that's what he meant. He's going to see that this happens, man. It says what? For the for in the day of trouble, they they shall be against her round about. Against him that bendeth. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifteth himself up in his brigadine. 
and spare and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Everything in Babylon is gonna be destroyed, man. All of the military personnel is gonna be destroyed, man. Everything having anything to do with America is going to be destroyed. Verse 4 says what? Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, which is America, and they that are thrust through in her streets. Bodies on top of bodies, man. All these things are coming to America. You see? Great death and destruction is coming to this land. That's what this uh, uh, video is going to go into, man. And all these things are going to happen by what? Famine in the soil, man. Pestilence and... and, and and great plagues and, and judgment the most High is going to bring upon this place man why because of the wickedness of you people because the pride that you're walking in man exalting yourself against the heavenly father as if you are some type of power man as if you are some type of god you see you people have completely forgotten what the most High has done upon this planet earth man you forgot about the flood you forgot about what he did to egypt man you see but he's about to bring it back to your remembrance man he's about to make he's about to make you heathen and two thirds of you understand why he was given the name Alashadia, man. Terrible demon like power. Because he's about to unleash his power upon this planet Earth as he has never done before, man. You see? Verse 5 says, What? For Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power. Of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah of And that's talking about who? The remnant, man. Now we're going to go through hell. We're going to go through that affliction, man. But it's for us to be tried and made better. To be refined of all this Babylonian dross that we have upon us. The Most High is going to purge all that unnecessary stuff from, from us. And when, when it's all said and done, we're going to come out as pure gold, man. You see? We haven't been forsaken. We haven't been forgotten. All this is happening. So the Most High can come in and save his elect. You see? And increase their faith beyond anything we can imagine, man. That's what's, that's what's about to happen. You see, he's already given, up, given us of his Holy Spirit to know and understand these the, uh, his secrets now he's about to bring everything to pass and, pro and bring us through all type of crazy situations man you see to increase our faith and to purge all that unnecessary madness from us man it goes on to say though their land was filled with sin against the holy one of Israel flee out of the midst of Babylon deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's vengeance he will render unto her a recompense. And that's what we see happening, man. That's why we see the, the, the dollar crashing, man. Inflation setting in. Food shortages is all over this country, man. Crazy weather uh, weather patterns all in the Middle East. Not Middle East. The, the Midwest. You see? Because the Most High is preparing to bring vengeance upon this place, man. And you people. You see? To pay you back for what you have done unto his people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. To pay you back for all your pride, your wickedness, man. All the hard speeches that you have spoken against them, man. You see? The Most High is about to show you who you people are dealing with. It goes on to say, verse 7, Babylon have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunk another wine, therefore the nations are mad. That's what the Most High used this place for, man. You see, he used it, he set this place up to push the, the madness that you see forth going in the earth, man. From the from the rainbow flag community to the pedophilia, the bestiality, just all manner of lewdness and wickedness is being pushed forth from this place, man. That's when you read when you read Revelation uh, 17, it tells you that ba uh, mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots, man, and all the uh, and uh, and all abominations of the earth. It all comes from America, man. That's what the most I use this place for. You see, the, all the all the nations have been polluted with the madness that's being pushed forth from this place. And who and who's the who's the ring leader over Babylon, man? Esau, the so-called white race. You see that? And now we see this place falling. Now we see what happens when you establish a, a country, a kingdom upon wickedness, man. This is the result of it. Eventually, it falls, and we're witnessing the greatest fall in the history of civilization, man. Verse 8 goes on to say, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. If so, she may be healed. You see that? And what's the bomb they're trying to use? 
all these stimulus packages, all this stuff to try to prop up, prop up this economy, man. You see? All these big ass bills they signed in the, into play. And all they're doing, man, is is is, is uh digging themselves into a deeper hole, man. Because the more dollars you print, the weaker it becomes. The weaker the dollar becomes, the more uh, the, the price of things rise, man. So whatever they do, this place will not be healed, man. It can't be healed. Oh, verse 9 says what? We will heal Babylon, but she is not healed. No matter how many band-aids you try to put on this gash, man, it's going to continue to bleed. It's going to continue to leak out. It's not meant for this place to go back to normal, man. It's not meant for this place to go back to the so-called glory years of the uh, 20s and the 30s, man. It's over. America is done, man. There is no more American dream. It's over. It's a wrap. <laughs> it says what? We uh Jeremiah 51 and 9, it says what? We would we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go every one into his own country. For for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. You see that? Just like the most I said with the Amorites, man. He told Abraham what? Hey, Hey, your seed gonna have to be a, a, a servants in a land that they know not, man, for four hundred years. You see, until the wickedness of the Amorites come to a full. That's the same thing that's happening right now. We had to be cap. We had to be in captivity over here on the Esau Edom, first and foremost, to to, to suffer what, a, a punishment for what we done against the Most High. But it was also for what? For Esau's sins to reach up to heaven, so the Most High can ju be justified in destroying his ass, man. That's exactly what's happening, man. The sins of you Edomites has reached up into the heavens, man. And now the Most High is about to bring a judgment upon you. And it's already begun. You see? It says what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, our God. And that's exactly what you see the man of the Lord doing, man. Telling you damn Edomites before it even happens what the Most High is going to do to you, man. And as we're speaking, it's all coming to pass just like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah said it would. You see? Now going back to the video. America is about to enter a new era of pain and suffering. Producer prices in the United States are skyrocketing past their largest annual increases to strike American households at their highest pace in 10 years, in some ways in more than 30 years, as inflation continues to ratchet, uh, ratchet up pressure on families across the country. Simultaneously, the number of Americans that are filing for new unemployment claims dropped against a cliff of individuals who no longer qualify for their benefits. And we're talking 500,000 million people are about to be dropped off every single month. They just aren't able to pay their bills. You see, the, the jobs are out there. You see help wanted signs everywhere, but people have woken up to the fact that they can go get a job and that job is not going to pay for their shelter, their food, their electricity, their water, and their vehicle and if it's not going to do that then they have to take up two jobs as an individual to perform these tasks and, and the thing is yeah you got the jobs but they ain't they, they're not able to pay for nothing by working these jobs because what things are, are, are the prices of things are skyrocket is skyrocketing man and eventually as we read in the prophecy ain't gonna be no work for babylon man you see Oh, how, how's it go? Is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know it says no word for Egypt. Let me pause it. Con, so yeah, this is Isaiah 19 and 14. It says what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. And that's what you see happening in America, man. Complete confusion. 
nothing but madness being pushed forth. That's that perverse spirit the most high has mingled in this place. You got men thinking they be they can be women, women thinking they can, they can be men. You got men thinking they can uh, uh, give birth to children, and vice versa. Man, just nothing but madness going on, pedophilia, bestiality, adultery, just just wickedness all over this place, man. And it's causing everybody to err because they're walking in a way that the Most High has not ordained, man. That that's not righteousness. The Most High is only dealing with righteousness, man. You see, that's what the Most High loves, righteousness. And He's about to punish you, workers of iniquity, man. Verse 15 says what? Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. You see, so you got these jobs that's that's opening right now, but like I said, they're not paying shit. You see? Just uh, saw a sign today to my Chick-fil-A was hiring, starting at fucking six, uh, $15 to $16 an hour. Man, what the, what, what are you going to do with that with hyperinflation sitting in? You see? You can't do nothing with fucking $15 an hour, $16 an hour. You see? And the time is going to come, man, where the grinding is going to cease. All these things are about to happen in, in America, man, because the Most High is dismantling, dismantling this place, man. Let's get that real quick. That's Sirach, not Sirach, uh, Ecclesiastes. Let's put a seeds wrong. Yup. Sirach 12. And 3 it says what? Not Sirach 12. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. And the strong men shall buy themselves. And the grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. What is this talking about man? The 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 collapse of the economy man which is happening right now as we speak the economy is collapsing man they're just pumping dollars into the system trying to uphold it but hey it's just making the dollar weaker and things uh, the prices are just skyrocketing man you see you see that the keepers of the house who these dudes are working the work in the stock market man they see this shit is this going down so they're playing with the numbers as best they can but the time is going to come where it's just going to collapse man you see, it says what? Well, and the grinding cease because they are few. Ain't going to be no jobs soon come. Because they ain't going to have nothing to pay nobody to work. And those that look out of the windows be dark and all hope is going to be lost, man. And as you as we continue to watch this video, you see it already starting to happen, man. And it really, re nothing has even really happened yet, man. So imagine when it, when it pops off in its fullness, man. You people are going to be... In, in a state of complete despair no hope whatsoever man the only hope that's going to be had in these times we're entering into is is is, uh, is from the true believers of yahweh bashim yahweh shah man because we know this is not the end all be all man we got hope in our lord and savior coming to save us you see and take us into the kingdom of heaven verse 4 says what and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, <laughs> you see that working is going to be low, already low, everybody hiring, but nobody's going to work, you see, because they're getting paid more money to stay at home than to work these jobs, but guess what, that money is going to be cut off as well, man, once again, that little hope, that little sliver of hope that the Most High is allowing you to have for right now, he's going to snatch that away as well, man, he says what, and he shall raise up early, <laughs> And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird in the morning, you know what I'm saying? And all the daughters of music shall be bought low. And that's what the Most High is doing to this place, man. Gonna be rising up early, nowhere to go, no jobs to go to, you see? And it says what? The daughters of music shall be bought low. And music is trash right now, man. You got to go back a, a couple of decades to listen to some good music. And why is that? It's because the Most High is taking the mirth away from this place, man. The most I was taking the joy away from this place. You people are about to be faced with a, a great and terrible reality, man. You see? And it's setting in as we speak. An American.
American Revolution took place, of rebelling against this servitude. They want the life of their grandparents where one member of the household had to work a full-time job. And with that income, they were able to pay for a house, not just pay rent on something that they will never own. They were able to afford a meager vehicle. They could garden a little bit and have food on their table. They could pay their electricity and their water. They also want a world in which a pregnancy and birth at the hospital does not cost $30,000. This is a revolution, a soft revolution taking place in America, a time where people rebel against what they're told to do, and they're no longer taking it anymore. The day And guess what? The more you people rebel, the more the more Esau is going to feel to be uh, feel justified to come down with even more draconian measures, man. So everything is playing out just as the most I said, man. You see? So you people rebel and do what you do. Because at the end of the day, it all just brings forth prophe prophecy, man. You rebel against what they're pushing forth, they bring in the troops. Which which causes what? Martial, martial law to initiate. Sedition among men. Uprises against the government. Hey, all, all it's all coming together so beautifully, man. You see? It's all coming together so beautifully. Let me see. Yeah, man, let's keep going that presents to us in the near future is that this soft rebellion, this change in a society's willingness to perform these tasks, it makes it so that our world no longer goes round. It will end at some point in time in some sort of corporate or government mandates and control measures that will be reflected in violence coming to your city and areas across the country. Hey, you is that not what prophecy says? Is that not what's written in the scriptures? You see? What does it say about that, man? That's second Ezra chapter 15, man. We'll start at 14. It says what? Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw of not. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. It's gonna be all out like mayhem out here, man. Chaos. You see? Shootouts. This is what's coming. Race against race. <laughs> class against class, man. The rich against the poor. I guess that's class against class. Hey, the right wing versus the left wing, man. <laughs> it, hey, nothing but war is being sown here in America, man. This is all the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. This brings prophecy forth. Verse 16 says what? For there shall be sedition among men. What is sedition, man? Let's define sedition. What is this? Sedition says what? Sedition. Conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. That's what old boy just said. Rebellion, right? The most I'm going to put the spirit on whoever he sees fit to lead this, man. And they're going to bring the people together and they're going to rebel against the government, man. This is what's coming. Why? Because of, all, because of all these draconian measures that are being pushed forth and the people are fed up. You see? So what we see happening in France and all those European countries, these people protesting, that's what's going to come to America. But the thing is, these fucking Americans are armed to the teeth, man. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're able to execute more deadlier protests. This is what's coming to America, man. It is a wrap. America is done, man. It says what? Verse 16 says what? For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their action shall stand in their power. You hear that? The people are going to take the power into their own hands. Why? It's because they're going to they're going to feel like their government has failed them, man. And they have. And it was all according to the Most High's will, because it was never meant for America to be <laughs> set up forever, man. It was always meant. America was always meant to be taken down this way, man. As you read in Re uh, Revelation 18, it says what? And Babylon, that great city, shall shall go out by way of violence, man. And this is what the Most High is preparing to happen in this land. Great violence is about to take place. Verse 17 says what? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because martial law is going to be initiated. 
they're going to roll these troops out into your cities. We've seen it happen with the, at the beginning of the pandemic, man. So when the second lockdown comes, hey, be prepared to see boots on the ground in your cities, man. Arm to the teeth. Now, when they came through the first time, you see, they had the barrel muzzles on, man. That's what you use during, during the time of training. So there was a, that, that was a training exercise that first fucking lockdown, man. This time, they're not going to have those barrel muzzles on, man. They're going to come locked and loaded, prepared to, to do the damn thing. And if they can't get the job done, be prepared to see the goddamn blue hats. The UN troops come, man. And they will show you people no mercy. This is what's about to happen. Curfews and lockdowns, man. To the point to where if your ass is on the street after curfew, shoot the kill. That's what is coming to in America. This is what's coming, man. Verse 18 says what? For, the, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. This is what the Most High is about to unleash upon the planet Earth, man. Great terror and torment upon you people. Why? Because of your pride. Your city is going to be troubled. Men are going to be afraid not have no understanding of what's going on because it tells you in Isaiah 33 and 6 that what? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time to strength of salvation. If you ain't been building up yourself with the oil of the Most High, if the Most High and your house ain't been supping with you and building up your spirit, Building up your faith, building up your understanding of what's really going on in the world, you have no chance when all hell breaks loose, man. So you're gonna be out here like a woman in travail, not knowing what the fuck is going on. Just seeing bodies drop all around you, man. Seeing your family members be killed, seeing your wives raped in front of you. Hell, you might even see your children raped in front of you. Hell, you might even be raped in front of your damn family. That's what. That's the times we're coming into, man. Judgment is about to be poured out. You see. The Most High is about to punish you wicked ass Americans, man. And you two thirds right along with them because you refuse to repent. Verse 19 says what? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And that's what this man is going into right now, man. A lack of bread coming. Uh, uh, yeah, a lack of bread is coming. And what is that? What is that called? That's called a famine. You see? This is what the Most High is about to pour out upon the planet Earth, man. Death, famine, sword, and destruction, man. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. <laughs> let's get that real quick. That's 2nd Ezra chapter 5. You know what? I'm tripping. That's 2nd Ezra 15 and 5. Yup. It says what? For be behold, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And this is what we see being prepared right before our eyes, man. The Most High has it out for Babylon the Great. You see? Why? For what you have done unto his people. He has it out for you Edomites for what you've got uh, because of what you've done to his people. You live in half the hogs, man. You live in fat right now. Off this land that you stole from the so-called Native Americans and Hispanics, you have to pay for that for all the bloodshed, for all the blood you had to shed to get it. And how was, how was it built up? It was built up off, off the back of our ancestors, man. You see? Free slave labor for over 400 years, man. That's how this land was built up. Now you have to pay for it. And this is what we see happening. You see? This is why we see all these things happening the way they're happening, man. It's because the Most High is about to pay you back for what you have done unto his people. You see? So 2 Edges 15 and 5, it says, What? For uh, Behold, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Why? For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. You hear that? So the Most High is about to bring this upon the entire planet Earth. But it's going to hit Babylon the Great harder than anywhere else, man. You see? Because, it, hey, this place is the ring leader, as we just read in Jeremiah 51. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. You see, yeah, these, these other nations, they're going to get hit with some of these things. But, hey, what's about to happen here in America is about to be on a whole nother level, man. A whole nother level. And why? Why is the most I bring it is? Because of your wickedness, man. Let's go back to the video.
U.S. producer prices shot past expected price increases for the month of July, and reports indicate in the very same uh, data that it's going to happen again into August and into the foreseeable future as the Labor Department continues to deliver information on the state of price increases or this price increase economy, with data suggesting that inflation will remain high for years to come. Remember that the Federal Reserve stresses that inflation is a good thing because it encourages you and your family to pick up that second job so that you can afford to put food on the table and those other luxuries that you want to have like air conditioning wink while they're driving around their second or third vehicle going to their second or third cottage home they want you to struggle just to make those ends meet the chair to the federal reserve jerome powell has repeatedly said that the current burst in inflation is temporary however a growing number of uh, outspoken uh, individuals within the federal reserve and ec- economists and critics uh, critics outside of it show that these increases are going to por- uh, persist into the foreseeable future. Last month's increase in the cost of services was led by a nearly 2% jump in trade services, which measures changes in margins received by retailers and wholesalers. 20% of the increase in services was due to margins for automobiles and parts retailing, which rose 11%. This is a new time in our world, a time where you can go to the store today and spend, uh, what is it, uh, you know, $300 on a buggy, a full cart full of food for your family, and then you can go back to the store next week and that exact same cart with those exact same items could cost you $350. You go back next month, it could be 375. There is no end in sight to what is happening right here. You know, we often get asked here on this channel, what is it going to look like? What's America going to look like in two years, three years? What about five or six years? I wanted you to listen to something. This is a quote. In the past, the government would print all the money they wanted and they would hand it out like confetti all over the economy. And that, to some extent, kept the wheels going, if you will but you still had inequality. Let me read that again. In the past, the government would print out all the money they wanted and handed it out like confetti all over the economy, and to some extent, that kept the wheels going, if you will, but you still had inequality. This is according to a risk analyst focusing on Venezuela. If that sounds familiar to what is happening in the United States of America, it's because that is exactly what is happening in the United States of America. The government will print out all the money that it wants, except they don't hand it out like confetti all over the economy. They hand it out to corporations. They hand it out in bailouts. They hand it out to themselves. And every once in a while, they're going to give you a shilling or two just to keep the pitchforks down. This is happening in countries all across our planet, and they are an eerily similar foretelling to what is starting to be seen here in the USA. Not expected to be seen, but starting to be seen in the USA. This is one individual warning that she struggles to put food on the table for her uh, for her two daughters, three grandchildren in a low-income neighborhood of this capital. She says that she creates bland, fru- uh, bland foods from staple ingredients, traditional flat round corn patties with butter and cheese, but she warns that it's hard to even uh, procure, pay for those staple goods. There is food, she says, but the money is lacking. Doesn't that sound familiar? Doesn't that sound like the USA today? There are some things on the shelf. People will always say to me, well, then how can someone afford a brand new $90,000 truck that they don't need? A truck that is meant to haul big things and do big work projects, uh, projects, but they'll never put a scratch on because they'd like to baby it like a safe queen. And how is this able to happen? Well, it doesn't. That's not a measure of a thriving economy. That's a measure of a bank's willingness to let you borrow something before they take it back from you. You see, if a neighbor comes over and he asks, can I borrow that shovel? In all likelihood, if you have nothing to lose, you'll give him that shovel. If he says, hey, can I borrow your car? If you have nothing to lose, you'll let him borrow your car. It doesn't matter if it wrecks because you've got insurance. It doesn't matter if, uh, if he never brings it back because you can afford to buy another one. That's the banks sitting. That's where they're standing today. They're going to give people money. As long as it looks like there's a good chance, they're going to pay it back. They don't care how much it is, how exorbitant it is, because at the end of the day, they've got the guys who are going to come pick up that $90,000 truck. Then they're going to have a new truck to sell. Then if they get into trouble, guess what? 
big mama, big papa USA government is going to come and bail them out. There's really no worry here. And so they're going to keep giving out money. You're going to keep seeing these things. And remember that quote, there is still disparity. There is still a breaking between the haves and the have-nots. There is still food to be bought, but people can't afford to buy it. That isn't Venezuela. This is happening in America. So people, if you pay for your electricity, if you pay for your shelter, millions can't also afford to pay for their water, pay for their housing. They can't afford a car. This is in the country of the USA. They can't, if they can't afford a car, they can't go to work without being extremely local. Now in Venezuela, they keep the economy and the world moving a step forward every day, barely able to get by through the use of imported USD, imported dollars from the USA. The only reason that America is able to get by right now, okay. the only reason that you're not looking out as you step outside of your house at a slum like Venezuela is because the USA imports cheap Chinese goods, cheap Malaysian goods, cheap Pakistani goods, cheap Thailand goods. If you went into the, the USA imports cheap Chinese goods, cheap Malaysian goods, cheap Pakistani goods, cheap Thailand goods. If you went into the store, USA imports cheap Chinese goods, cheap Malaysian goods, cheap Pakistani goods, cheap Thailand goods. If you went into... Damn, that sounds familiar. America imports everything that they have in this land, man. <laughs> Why is that? Because it's Babylon the Great, you see? This is Babylon the Great, and it says the same thing about this place. <laughs> you see? Everything you have here in America has been imported from another country. Everything you have. You might have a few shirts or a fucking broom or some shit that might be made in the USA, but everything else, your cars, your phones, your TVs, your computers, your shoes, your shirts, whatever. Hey, all that's imported from these different countries, man. Just as it tells you about Babylon the Great and Revelation 18, man. It says what? Let's let's read through it, man. Fuck it. Let's get it. I mean, we here. Let's get it. Revelation 18 and 1, it says what? After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a, a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. It's fallen. And has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Why? Because this land imports everything that it needs from these other countries. That's how these countries are made rich off of America, letting us know what? That America is Babylon the Great. You see, the land that would be the greatest desert the world has ever seen, a habitation for every foul spirit and every unclean and hateful bird, man. You see that? All these nations are in bed with this place, man. Making bread off of this place. Banking off of America, man. America is the world's cash cow. The greatest consuming nation on the planet, man. Everything in this place is imported. You see? Let's play a little bit more of this video, then we're going to come back to that right, uh, real quick. A store, and you are only able to see products produced in the United States by your brothers and sisters at the factory any goods cheap thailand goods if you went into the store and you were only able to see products produced in the united states by your brothers and sisters at the factories not only would you be paying exorbitant fees for those products there would also be empty shelves everywhere we're talking the majority of products that are on shelves across the country are imported from another country mm. so in venezuela they keep the economy going by using imported dollars in the usa they keep the economy going by using imported goods they keep the economy of the usa going by imported goods he's talking about babylon the great man america you see 
And all those imported goods, the nations are making bread off of it, man. So, as so that you can still go to the dollar store. Nothing at the dollar store in any world of reality should be a dollar. Each one of those things, from the solar panel lights to all the other goods, there's a, a break in here. Either everything should be a dollar at Walmart or nothing at the dollar store should be a dollar because we are seeing that same problem, just like Venezuela here in the USA. More than 40% of Venezuelan households... I said so on that one. But let's get let's get back to it, man. It says what? Verse 4 says what? And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her, her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And that's what we're doing, man. Coming out of this place, uh, uh, place uh, spiritually, and when Yahweh Shah returns, it's going to be physical, man. Because the Most High is about to pour plagues upon this place, and it's already begun. Just like he did in ancient Egypt, man. He had his prophets... Out there prophesying against ancient Egypt and the plagues was pouring upon that place. He has his prophets out here in uh, spiritual Egypt right now. And we're, and we're prophesying against this place and we see these plagues coming to pass here in America, man. You see? And that ultimate plague is going to be what? That when that fire rains from the sky. In the form of 200 million thermal nuclear warheads and that, con that, and that concentrated fire from the chariots, man. Verse 5 says what? For her sins have reached unto heaven, saying the same thing we just read in Jeremiah 51, man. You see? Jeremiah 51 is saying the same thing Revelation 18 is saying. Her sins have, hey, Jeremiah told us the sins of Babylon reached to the heavens. In Jeremiah 51, it's being said the same, the same thing is being said here by John the Revelator, man. Says what? For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, have remembered her iniquities. Reward reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works and the cup which she had filled filled to her double <laughs> so the most the, the most i was about to bring uh, uh, bring double judgment and punishment upon babylon the great man you see everything we receive she's going to receive double you people are going to receive double for what you've done unto the israelites man verse 7 says what how much she have glorified herself and live deliciously. We just, we, old boy was just talking about it. How everything in the dollar store, it, it ain't even supposed to be, it's not even supposed to be a dollar, man. <laughs> but that's what happens when you live deliciously as you see the American people doing, man. iPhones and iPads and Apple computers and PlayStation 4, uh, 5s and Xbox, whatever. Teslas and Bentleys and Maybachs, all, just all throughout this country, imported goods, man. You people are living fat. You see? Let's see what that word deliciously goes into. Real quick. Whoo, look at that. Strong's G, 4763. Straniao. 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 To be wanton, to live luxuriously. Come on, man. Look at the people. Look at them, man. They do nothing but consume all day, every day. Versace and goddamn Jimmy Choo and whatever else, man. Living luxuriously. Every day. Especially the Edomites, man. What were they calling what were they calling Babylon before the pandemic popped off, man? The greatest country in the world, the richest the richest country on the planet Earth. Babylon the Great. That's what they were saying about America, man. They weren't saying that about Russia or China or fucking Rome. You see, people weren't, people weren't leaving their country to come live in fucking Rome or China or, or Russia, man. They were leaving their country to come live in Babylon the Great America, man. The most diverse country on the planet Earth. Why? Because people were leaving their homelands to come live the American dream so they can do what? Live luxuriously, man. Deliciously. One time, man. You see? It goes back uh, back in Revelation 18 and 7. It says what? How much she have glorified herself. She lifted up. To the point that these people really don't think anything is about to happen to Babylon. These people, these people really think that this 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 country is going back to normal, man, and they're sadly mistaken. 
How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. And that's what's coming upon this place, man. And it's already begun. You see? It had already begun back in 1969, man. It was a wrap then. That was the, that signified the end. When the, when the elder Abba Bivens came onto the scene preaching Yahweh Shai, it was a wrap for America, man. Hell, it was a wrap before uh, America before America was even formed, man. It was a wrap for America back before the foundation of the earth was laid. It's been a wrap. This has always been the plan of the Most High for this place to go out the way it's going out. It says what? For she have said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. And that's exactly what these people think, man. They really think that America's going to be great again. And you're sadly mistaken, man. Because after this place goes down, the kingdom of heaven is going to be erected, man. You see? And we all know what's written about the kingdom of heaven. Do, do, doesn't it say the kingdom of heaven is an everlasting kingdom? You see? So America is, is on... Shh. It's on his last fucking milliseconds, man. Milliseconds. It goes on to say, verse 8, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. Hey, he was talking about all those things in the video. That's all according to prophecy, man. It says what? And she shall be utterly burned with fire in the form of what? 200 million thermonuclear warheads and the concentrated fire, those laser beams shot from the chariot when Yahweh Shah returns. You see? Why? For strong is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah who judge of her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her. That I can guarantee that word deliciously is the same one we just read in uh, the chapter uh, uh, verse 7. Strani Yahu, yup, luxuriously. That's why these nations are able to live the, the way they live because what of the money they make off of Babylon the Great, man. So Revelation 18 and 9 says, well, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, you see, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. This is going to be able to be seen all throughout the earth. It's going to be broadcast on all type of news channels. This just in, America has been hit with nuclear missiles. The entire land is engulfed in fire. Reporting for Russia, speaking that dumbass Russian language. We can see the smoke of America burning. We can see the smoke of America rising all the way here in Russia. People are going to be in a state of mourning, man. Especially, especially these merchants of the earth, man. Verse 10 says what? Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is, is thy judgment come. That's all it's going to take for the most high to, to completely wipe this place out, man. One hour. And look how long it took the Edomites to build it up, man. It's only going to take the most high one hour to destroy this place completely, man. All these major cities, all these fucking skyscrapers, all this, all these wooded areas, all the lakes are going to be dried up. This place is going to be the, the biggest desert the planet Earth has ever seen, man. Verse 11 says what? And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, over her for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. <laughs> you see that? Why? Because America is the greatest consumer nation on the earth. Nothing but imports, man. Imports everywhere. <laughs> and the merchants of the earth are going to be in money because what? Their cash cow has been destroyed. You see? Verse 12 says what? The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and of fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and, and all thine wood. And all manner of vessels of ivory, and, and all manner of vessels of most precious wood, and of brass, and of iron, and, and of marble, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, 
and slaves and the souls of men. These are all the things that are being sold here, bought, uh, yeah, bought and sold here in Babylon the Great, man. And these merchants are, hey, they're about to lose majorly when America goes down, man. This is not talking about Rome or the Vatican. Vatican is not a major city, man. It's not a mighty city. You don't see ships going back and forth to the Vatican dropping shit off. Not the way you see it when they, when they come to America, man. The entire fucking America is, is engulfed, I mean, uh, completely surrounded by, surrounded by water, man. You have ports all the way around this place, man. All the way up from fucking the East Coast, all the way down to the bottom, to the South, around Florida, around Texas, all the way back up to fucking Alaska, man. Ports. Merchants shipping stuff in to be sold here in America. Babylon the Great. Verse 14 says what? And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. And all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee. And thou shalt find them no more at all. And why is that? It's because of that fire. You see? That's going to engulf this place. Verse 15 says what? The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fit of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. You see? Why? Because, hey, Babylon is sitting over all the nations of the earth, man, as the king of the world. Or the queen of the world. Ruling all the nations, man. Verse 17 says what? For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster, and all the company in ships and sailors, and as many as trade by the sea, stood afar off. And how's the majority of the things America get shipped over here, man? By way of the sea. That's how the majority of America's imports are bought in, man. By way of cargo ships. Hell, we was brought over here by way of cargo slave ships. You see? America is out of here, man. Verse 18 says what? And and cried when they saw the smoke of her burn, burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? You see that? <laughs> They're talking about America, man. Verse 19 says what? And... And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea, by reason of her costliness. For in one hour she is made desolate. In one hour she is made desolate, man. Verse 21, verse 20 says what? Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. For the Most High have avenged you on her. And that's what we we, we, we we rejoicing over this bitch now, man. Because we see everything the Most High has told us is coming to pass. And we're rejoicing as we see this place go down, man. Because our captivity is over. It's coming to an end, man. We just have a, a little bit more to go. We just have to go through Jacob's trouble and it's a wrap, man. After Jacob's trouble, man, we in the kingdom of heaven. All... Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi man. Verse 21 says what? And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the midst of the sea, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. You hear that? This land will never be built up ever again, man. All these skyscrapers, all this land that you see, all, all this greenery uh, right now, the mountains or whatever you uh, is, is around you, all that's going to be wiped out when it's all said and done, man. You see? When that fire finishes finish burning, it is, this, this will be the biggest plain, the biggest desert the world has ever seen, man. This place is about to go down with great violence because that's how it, that's how it was erected, man. Verse 22 says what? And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee, and no craftsman of whatsoever craft he, he be shall be found any more in thee. 
and the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee going into what working man no more music no more pipers no more trumpeters man no more craftsmen no more jobs all that shit is about to pass away verse 23 says what and the light of a candle shall, shall shine no more at all in thee and the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee you hear that Every the most I was about to put a stop to everything having anything to do with America, man. The only th the only remembrance America will have is, is, is this land com being completely and utterly desolate, man. Being a monument for the world to 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 to, to uh, witness and understand and, can, and keep in remembrance of what not to be, how not to live. You see, you see Babylon the Great over there. That's what happens. When you exalt wickedness in the earth, the Most High rains fire down. The, the Most High rains fire down from heaven upon you and destroy everything having anything to do with you when you live in wickedness the way they were living. You see, that's the only thing that's going to be remembered about America, man. How the Most High destroyed this place for for his wickedness, and, and you people right along with it, man. It says what? For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. And that's what we see happening right now, man. Nothing but sorcery is going on. Let's see something real quick. By thy sorceries, right? Oh, shit. Strong's G, 5331. Pharmakia. Pharmakia. Pharmakia, right? What does Pharmakia go into? The use or, a, or the administering of drugs, poisoning, you see, poisoning, Sorcery, magical arts often find a connection with idolatry and fostered by it. Metaphorically, the deceptions and seditions of idolatry. And what do we see happening right now on the earth? You see? Who's the main one pushing this madness? America, Babylon the Great. And all the nations are drinking of that wine, man. Pushing that fucking ooze upon their citizens. Following after... Following in the footsteps, following the lead of America, man. So it says what? For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. And in her was found the blood of the prophets and of saints and of all that was stained upon the earth. This is America, man. America is about here. You see? America is done for. And Esau knows it. You see, so I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave this link in the description, man. You go finish watching this video on your own. But you get the point, man. Hey, there's nothing good coming to America, man. America is about to go out. The world is about to witness the greatest downfall they have ever seen in the history of the planet Earth, man. You see, the, the, the greatest country to ever be erected so far is about to suffer the greatest downfall the world has ever seen, man. Hey, and and who and, and who's doing this, man? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to destroy Babylon the Great, man. The Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to destroy America. Thus saith the Bible. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let I get out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. Hey, with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abad, Babal.